Hey everybody, just thought I would show you my 31 day journal for January since today is the due date. I did extend it to today because um, I was a little behind um, by a couple days. I still had, them po had all the templates posted in time, but um, I was running behind because my life was taking over. Anyway, so here, <laughs> here's my journal and as you can see it is super jam packed. This is all 31 days and it's insanely fat. Um, it's so fat that my rings are kind of buckling a little bit. <laughs> so I've got a whole new technique for February. And in case you didn't know, we're going to continue the 31 day journal challenge. Um, well, we're actually going to turn it into a 365 challenge. So we're going to do this all year long. Each month there's going to be new templates. So for February, um, let me show you real quick February's templates. So here's what the cover looks like for February. And we're going to do something a little bit different for February. Um, the pages are all going to kind of coordinate as far as color scheme goes and um, overall design. So they're, it, so all your pages are going to kind of match in February, unlike January. January was more mixed media. And then next month we'll do something completely different again. So we'll see. Excited about that. It's super, super fun. I had so much fun putting this together. It was so easy. Um, so I just want to show you real quick. I'm going to flip through it really quick because I know you guys have seen um, most of these. So I'm just going to flip through. I don't want to show you the same stuff over and over again. And I'm missing a couple of days of photos um, from when I had the baby because I didn't take a picture for I think one or two days because um, I was in the hospital obviously. But um, I will just journal on those pages. And I'm missing some more days, but I did take photos on those days, so I just gotta figure out where they are. I think they're on my husband's iPad. So, I think I did pretty good. I only missed a couple of days um, from when I was in the hospital, which I think is excusable. Um, so, I'm kind of excited. I really like this, and I think it, it makes it fun just going back and seeing that fun stuff does happen every day in your everyday life. Um, stuff that you normally wouldn't remember, like for example, this day when Brick and Blake were coloring um, in the dining room, I probably wouldn't remember that if I didn't have a picture. So that was kind of cool. And I probably wouldn't remember this day when Garrett was cooking. Just so I'm capturing things that like, I normally wouldn't um, take pictures of. And so it kind of feels good to see, see all that stuff and know that I'm going to remember those. So here, I'm missing a couple days here because I think these pictures are on my husband's iPad. So you can tell which pictures are taken on the iPad and which ones are taken on my on my Nikon because that's an iPad picture and it looks horrible. So note to self, use the Nikon all the time. And I think I've got pictures on this one. I just haven't done the journaling yet. I think I glued that one in there. So there's little Beckham. I've been taking a lot of pictures of Beckham lately. <laughs> As you can see, this is probably, I think, my favorite page in the book, just because I, lo I love those colors. So, there's some, look how tiny and skinny he is. Is it typical for a mom to say that, they, that she has the cutest kids in the world? I think every mom says that. It may sound vain, but I love my kids. And then there's these pictures of Brooke. So I stuck just some like random pictures in there too. But I liked this one because I caught some of Brooke's funny faces that she likes to make. So, and you don't have to use the pages in order. I mean, you don't have to use day two for day two. I mixed and matched mine towards the end to kind of match the personality of the pictures a little bit. So you can do that. There's Garrett working in the backyard. I don't think I put anything on the tags yet, so I still have a lot of work to do. Maybe I'll show it again when I'm all done. I love this page too. This one was fun to make. And there's no picture on the insert yet. Or journaling. Here's a gardening day that we did. Well, the kids did. I just watched. So, and there's the day when Brooke was sick. So sad. She looked so pitiful. And so on this last page, there's this accordion insert. On the very last page, um, the whole idea was kind of to like write about your whole experience with the journal and everything. I haven't written anything yet, but I'm going to. And then um, to put your last picture that you took on the last day, which I don't have in there yet because I need to print some more pictures. Um, so that is my January journal and see the last page like barely wants to close over because it's so jam-packed and I haven't even put
hardly any embellishments in here. So um, I have a new binding technique that I'm going to use for my February journal that hopefully I'll get to share in a video today. But I hope you guys like it. I'm so proud of all of you guys. I love all the journals that I'm seeing. So creative. Um, totally fun. And uh, I hope you um, I hope you really like it. So once again, we're going to continue all year, all year long each month. And I'm going to have a prize at the end of each month for someone randomly picked. Um, and you don't have to use the digital templates that I designed. You don't have to use them. You can use as few or as many as you want. Or you can use completely all your own stuff. So just decide what you want to do. And have fun. Thanks, guys.